Hello, Diana from Diana Drager Designs. I'm gonna do an, a piece in a really cute little picture. It's old, vintage, um, it's got a lot of that checking on it, but I thought it was a, a sweet little size and I have some amazing, incredible, gorgeous, cute ranunculus, yellow ranunculus that are just gonna, just gonna be delightful in here. So we're gonna start with, I put the preservative in the water and um, we're gonna start with a little bit of foliage and then it's just one type of flower with some foliage. So super simple. It's my whole plight in life to encourage you to use flowers more often and to feel comfortable putting them in a vase I mean, so that you can enjoy doing it and feel like you kind of know what you're doing. So you can enjoy flowers for yourself, give flowers more often. I'm doing my thing with cutting plants up so up here. Um, I have some Chinese evergreen, aglaonema. I'm going to put a couple of those leaves down just for some, just to, for the base. And I always put things at an angle and make a grid pattern inside the vase so that the stems kind of hold together and they'll hold the flower stems in. This is a ZZ plant. I've used it in some other things because I had a plant that I took apart. So this is good. You can use your outdoor shrubbery, shrub, shrubbery, your green plants in your home, you know, whatever is around. Or if you don't have any of that, then you can pick up some foliages at the store when you buy some flowers. So we've got a few pieces. They're just fairly small, so it needs to be in a short container like this. So this will work perfectly. So we always cut at an angle. So many of these look actually really pretty with just foliage. So that's why we did an all green arrangement as well, a little bit ago. Okay. I have some few, a few short pieces of the silver dollar eucalyptus. So we're going to put a, little, a few of those in. I like things. I like my style of designing is that it looks very natural and graceful and so if the stems are all too going up this way, it makes me crazy. So I have to find something that'll drape over the edges or I can't stand it. It's one of my little things. Okay, and kind of working all sides so that this little piece can go on the kitchen table or dining room table or on the kitchen island. Um, I want it to be able to be seen from all sides. It'll be sweet on a bathroom vanity as well. I think, you know, there's so many spots for flowers in your home. So you can't say, oh, I don't have any room. There's always room. So it's getting nicely filled out with just the foliages. And I want to put a little basil in. I, I trimmed a basil plant. And I think just for the scent and the difference in coloration and texture. That's what it's all about. Kind of just creating it and making it interesting. You could have, if you had asparagus growing outside, asparagus fern, that real feathery fern is really pretty. You can buy that commercially, but if you have asparagus plants, you have it naturally. So here's some more seeded, or, um, silver dollar eucalyptus. I want to make sure my edges are graced and over the edges. I kind of have to poke things back in once in a while. We've got a really small piece of this arbicola plant or um, Hawaiian shuffleera. So here we have just the foliage. I'm going to show it a little closer so you can see. And it's really pretty cool already. But the ranunculus are just so incredible. I can't stand it. I'm not over it. Look at how beautiful. I had a customer one time say, Oh, my roses are so soft. They're so strange. There's, there's something wrong with them. But they weren't roses. They were ranunculus. <laughs> so <laughs> they're not roses. But they, and they last really, they look rather fragile, but they last really quite long. So using all of one type of flower is really effective. And it's called monoflora. Monochromatic is using all of the same, you know, sim, same or similar colors. But uh, monoflora is just one type of flower. And I love that. I love that type of that kind of look. It's simple. So one bunch of ranunculus from Trader Joe's. I think they were $6.99 or something like that. Fabulous. And so treat yourself. 
not going to break the bank and give you lots of enjoyment. So putting them in a kind of a triangular shape and um, crossing the stems so that they hold together and at an angle. So not just straight in because then they look all like little soldiers and we don't want that. We want them to be, to be graceful. Oops, let me fall out. Let me just pop it back in. There we go. Turn this a little bit so you can see what's happening. They're so pretty. Look at that. And they have their own little bend on their stem. So you, I like to let flowers be who they are. So if they're bending that way, put it that way. Let, let it be who it is. They're too precious. The foliage is fun. Now this piece, I'm actually gonna cut here so that I can use this, I'm gonna stick this in as well as a separate piece because the foliage is so pretty and it has plenty of stem length. So that will become another insertion into the base. This little container is, is just an example of things that you have in your home. I mean, you can use a really cool coffee mug or a, or a neat beer stein or, um, you know, there's, you just, scrounge around in your cupboards. You don't necessarily have to have like a certain vase. Just find um, things maybe that you're not using on your everyday basis, or even if you are, and use those for flowers. Anything that holds water, you can always clean it after. It won't hurt anything. So all these little bud pieces are so neat. Look at how cool. So you use them all. They, should, they create, you know, interest and texture and Fill up the base some more. Use flowers in, in all of your different rooms. You know, put, put a little something here, a little something there. You know, bedrooms and the bathrooms on the, on the vanity. Just even a little tiny something. Um, doesn't have to be big. Just a couple of blooms can say hello to you every day and really are delightful. Let's see if there's any. Forests are often scrounges. Like we scrounge around for every little piece and use them all. Okay, look at how pretty, simple and pretty. So the key when you, when you bring a bunch of flowers home like that is to take the bunch apart and you know cut the stems individually rather than just taking the whole bunch and cutting it off and popping it in a vase. This way they, they each have their own glory, they each can have their own space and their different heights and um, it just creates more unity and a more pleasing look. So sunshiny on a not so sunshiny day. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.